No more rotten pumpkins on my doorstep. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made these wooden jack-o'-lanterns that I can use year after year, and I don't have to worry about cleaning up all the pumpkin guts that gets left over. I picked up these four-foot cedar fence pickets at my local home center for $2.77 a piece. To get started, I used 60 grit sandpaper to clean up any blemishes on the faces. The next step was to trim the edges so I had straight sides to aid in the glue up. I cut the pickets down to 11 inches each to make up the four sides. By searching online, I was able to find some free templates. I just searched for free jack-o'-lantern templates, and I was able to come up with these. Here I am just applying some light spray adhesive to hold the templates to the wood so they don't, they don't move while I'm cutting them out. I had to drill a hole in the middle of each of my cutouts, so I had a place to start my saw blade. I'm using a scroll saw to do the cutouts here as you can see, but you can certainly use a jigsaw to make these cuts. I just find that the scroll saw helps me get more intricate cuts like I'm going to need on my ghost lantern. I rip off as much paper as I can and then give it a quick hit with the sander to remove anything that's remaining and any glue adhesive and we're ready for the next step. I just use a simple butt joint here to attach the sides together. A little glue and some pin nails make quick work of building the box. Off camera I cut out the lid and here I am gluing and pin nailing uh, an insert that's going to keep the lid from shifting back and forth once I place it on top of the box. Last step before starting any finish work is to just drill a hole in the center of the lid for the stem. I put a piece of tape on there and then basically put an X by connecting the two corners across together to find the center. I wanted it to have a rustic look before applying the stain so here I am with a torch just quickly burning the wood. Uh, you don't want to stay in one spot for too long because cedar lights up pretty quick but as you can see here I'm just giving a nice even burn to give it some aging. I picked up some stain at my local Ace store and they were able to tint it orange for me. As you can see here, I'm just applying it with a, a brush. You don't have to cover the whole thing. Just put a liberal amount on and then I'm going to wipe it off. And then any pieces that you missed with the brush, you can, you can catch when you're wiping it off because you, you want it to be semi-transparent so you can see the burn marks. quick coat of black paint for the lid. I found an old tree branch and cut off small pieces of it to use as the stem. A 
Last thing to do is screw the stem to the lid and we're done. So here's the finished product. The one thing I forgot to mention is I bought these tea light candles through Amazon. Um, there's a lot of different versions out there. I like these because they're rechargeable and then they also come with a remote so you can change the colors. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If so, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'll continue to bring new content to you that I hope you'll find entertaining.